Oh, there, this could be bad. This, this could be really bad. Oh, no, the old oh. oh my guys, guys, that, that's Mr. Money in the Bank's oh music. Oh my God, can you believe this? Is he? Is he? Is he gonna cash in now? Oh, the champ's ready. The champ. No, oh, he's not oh, behind oh, with the, the briefcase. The champion's not ready. This is brilliant. Ambush from behind. He's casting in. Cashing in. All right, y'all. What's going on? My bad for yelling in y'all ear. I ain't mean to yell in y'all ear, but uh, what's up? How y'all been? How y'all doing? How y'all living? How y'all feeling? Today, I'm going to be teaching y'all or showing y'all how to properly set up the cash in for NBA. I said NBA. Shut the, shut, shut, shut the, shut the, shut the. WWE 2K24, um, now nah, first I'm gonna start off by doing the gameplay settings. If you go to balancing, uh, and there should be an option where it says entrance running, mid match running, and post match running. Make sure you have all of these turned up. I don't know if it helps or it makes a big, a huge difference, but just be sure to have these turned up, bro, just in case. Um, now for my money in the bank holder, I will be having uh, Edge. And he's going after the World Heavyweight Championship. And for the AI cash in, make sure that that's turned on as well. Now, for starters, the key thing that you want to do is make it a one on one match. Oh, and yeah. also, do I not forget to not make guy. it a title match or a Money in the Bank match. You know, it highest an option where you can make it a title match or Money in the Bank. Yeah, don't click none of that. Just make it a normal one on one match with a champion. So, <laughs> in order for the cash in to activate, you gotta have both opponents, both superstars, with at least one red limb. Like, you see how Triple H got his head, paused, his head is red. And you see how Randy Orton got uh, his torso and his head, both of, both of them red. So, uh, it, it, uh, how do I say, how can I put this? It's increases the risk of the cash in to take place now i don't know if it's a certain way you gotta do them but like that's the game changer uh as y'all seen in the beginning of the video bro the first cash in that i got was phenomenal now most of the cash in is gonna end up happening like this where when, once you finish the match regardless of if you the champion or if you are not the champion he gonna cash in on you bro and it don't make sense because triple a is not even the champion it's randy that's the champion and how can you cash in on somebody that hasn't won the title this is a normal match it's not even a championship match so i don't get it but oh well Reversal from the game. And he gets set back into the ring. Able to reverse. Triple H did his homework. Somebody better check his nose. Ooh, stiff punch. Into the hammerlock. Oh boy. Back suplex. He's been placed in the corner now. Guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be. What more can this superstar do? Reaching deep into the arsenal. This could end the entire match. From the top floor. Superplex! Now rolling next snap. Brutal.
Uh oh, captured. Driven into the knee. He must have seen that coming. I think we know what's coming next. Vicious right forearm. Oh, what a clothesline. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. for this superstar, or should I say, for the new champion. He's fought like a champion this whole match, and now he has the title to prove it.